Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tears. Now today I'm going to be looking at Project X. This was uh, another Team 17 game, yes, uh, released uh, in 1992. Uh, it's a shoot 'em up. <laughs> um, basically a shoot 'em up where you just go around blasting things and whatnot. Anyway, uh, yeah, you just like I said, you just go around blasting things. It's a shoot 'em up. What more do you want? <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's go to the. Uh, let's just get from start. He's going to select my uh, select my ship. Uh, okay, you got the ultimate battle craft, and then there's super fast and agile fighter craft. Um, good all-purpose fighter craft. Um, let's go for the ultimate battle craft. Want some good weaponry? Um, now, this is one I didn't have back in the day, but I had heard of it. Um, but it was, um, I had, yeah, I heard particularly good things about this shoot 'em up. Uh, I started playing this one a few years ago uh, on emulation, um, and uh, what can I say about this? Um, it's a good shoot 'em up. Uh, don't be wrong, it's a good shoot 'em up, uh, but it's, but it's not the best. Um, it's, um, uh, for reasons I will explain later. <laughs> Um, okay, so it's just loading up the first mission here. Yeah, it takes a little while to load up. And uh, here we go. As you break out of hyperdrive, you realise your first mission is to reach the planet itself. Rix is situated at the end of a tricky sector. Enemy forces have been alerted and be cautious of the asteroid bolts on approach. Yeah, I have to say that quite quick because it goes away pretty quickly. <laughs> and here we go. Get ready, player one. Now, as you see, it's... Didn't look too bad. I think your ship looks a bit cartoony though. No, I like that there. I love the uh, I love all the uh, the speech. Uh, that, that's probably the probably the highest point uh, about this game is the sound. Is the sound as you know, it's, as with most of the games, uh, the sound sound in it is really really quite really quite impressive. Yeah, it's got good good music. Uh, sound effects are impressive. Uh, there's a good de decent amount of speech in there as well. Um, now basically. Um, how the uh, weapon to up weapon upgrade system works is that it, it's it's taken from um, uh, Nemesis or Gradius, or whatever you want to call it. Um, whereby basically every now and then you come across these power ups, those uh, circular things with the P in them, and um, the more power ups you get, the uh, different weapon you can choose. And uh, what you do is you press it. Basically, at the bottom there, you can see all the different types of weapons available. Every time you pick a power up, uh, the next one along will light up. And so you can press the space bar, and you'll get that that power up. Um, but like, like I said, this game is not perfect, and I shall explain why now. Uh, it's it's got the same kind of problem that Disposable Hero had, in the fact that it's it's a good shoot 'em up, but it's absolutely bloody hard. But but I mean, but I mean, you thought Disposable Hero was hard. This this one is taking a piss. <laughs> um, it really is. It's absolutely you know it's rock it's really rock hard to the point whereby I can't even I struggle to get off the first level. At least in Disposable Hero I can get like I can get up to like level three. Uh, but you know even the first two levels are quite a challenge. Uh, but this but this one, oh my god! <laughs> like I said I struggle to get off the first level. I really do struggle with this one. It's it's really tough, <laughs> um, and um, I think that's the only real thing that kind of lets it down. I suppose you know it's okay. Yeah, some people say it's good. It's a good challenge, but the problem is with this one uh, is that it is that there's so much going on screen uh, to the point whereby you d you just cannot upgrade your weapons properly because you've got no 
absolutely no time at all to reach over to hit the space bar because it, because there's just so much going on that by the time you hit the space bar you're dead uh, you're dead you crash into enemies and stuff so uh, <laughs> uh, so that that's my problem with the game it, it it it's it's difficult to the point whereby it makes uh, yeah whereby it, it makes uh, the player not be able to play the game properly because they can't they can't upgrade their weapon system properly because the fact that um, the fact that, that there's just so much going on screen that that, that they're fo that they're just totally focused on trying to shoot the baddies down and they completely forget and they have to completely forget about the weapon system which is there um, so um, in a way it, the difficulty level is detracting from is detracting from the gameplay if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that is probably the one thing that I, I found quite annoying in this game. Um, it was not that... Um, it's the fact that it's, it's overly difficult. It's too challenging. Uh, I wouldn't say it's an incredibly frustrating game, but it can get frustrating when you die, you know, when no matter how many times you try you play the game, you just end up dying and dying on the first level. Um, yeah, well, which uh, for me, for me can, yeah, it can increase uh, the, the, the level of frustration. Um, but like I said, I'm not saying this is a terrible game. It's got a lot of, uh, lot to it. Uh, I do like the, uh, I, th I think the enemies are, you know, t are quite interesting. The, uh, the power-ups are really you know, quite cool. Um, like I said, like, I just wish the difficulty levels, uh, yeah, I, I just wish the difference between the gameplay and the difficulty levels more balanced. And uh, quite and sadly, it, it, it isn't really. Um, now, I've actually I've actually heard that um, uh, Team Seventeen did actually listen to a lot of the criticisms that the uh, uh, that a lot of people had, and uh, the following year they did what they did with Alien Breed, and that was released a special edition version of the game. Um, and, and apparently, that's meant to sort out the uh, issues of the difficulty level and things. Um, I haven't actually played that version yet, so uh, it'd be uh, interesting to see what um, to see what it's like, <laughs> uh, like in terms of the difficulty. But this this is the original uh, one. Um, but yeah, this is um. But yeah, like I said, it's a potentially really good shoot. It's a potentially good shoot 'em up, uh, but it's just spoiled by the fact that the difficulty level is too high, and uh, it just makes the game, you know more difficult than it really needs to be and like I said you can't upgrade your weapons properly because you're just so fixed on doing just trying to shoot them down now and the thing is and the thing is obviously with this game is that uh, you know the basic weapons aren't always going to be the best to use um, is I mean I mean okay at the moment I think yeah the enemies don't take that many shots above my mind you, I've got I got I have at least actually got some kind of special weapon but I yeah, in the past like a couple of minutes, so I barely, yeah, as you probably see in this video, I barely upgraded my ship because I'm just so, because the onslaught of enemies is just so great. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, yeah, in other ways it's pretty good. Uh, graphic wise, it's quite good. Although the ship looks, does look a bit cartoony. Uh, uh, but the sound is really good. That's probably the strongest part of this game, actually. The sound is really good. It's got uh, pretty good music. Uh, the speed sample is excellent. And so, so yeah, it's got potential to be a really, really good shoot 'em up, but it just falls a bit short. Um, you know, I like this high school screen. I love the uh, music and the fireworks. <laughs> I've got the ranking of graduates. Hey, fantastic! Anyway, guys, this uh, this ends my review of uh, Project X. Um, so yeah. Um, so overall, uh, it's not a bad game. It's quite good, but it's it's just bone crushingly difficult to the point whereby it, it kind of spoils, whereby the difficulty level really spoils it. Yeah, I mean, the difficulty level on um, Disposable Hero is pretty challenging, but uh, at least that was just challenging and not absolutely overbearingly difficult. Uh, I can actually get to like the third level in that game, but this one I can't even get off the first level because it's just bone crushingly hard. And in a way, I think that does kind of really spoil this game. Um, but like I said, I've yet to try out the special edition version of this game, which is meant to, to be a bit easier. So uh, hopefully I shall get round to doing a video of that soon. 
Um, I've still got uh, loads of other games coming up, uh, including quite quite a few games which uh, I think some of you may actually remember. <laughs> and anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to give this game three out of five. It's a good game, let down by the fact it's just painfully difficult. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, hope to see you soon. Don't forget to check out Retro Sign at www.retrosign.com. And also, don't forget to check out my um, my YouTube channel, which is at www.youtube.com forward slash potty127. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Bye for now.